5 Freakishly Large Single-Celled Organisms Number 5. Stentor Growing up to 2 mm long, the trumpet-shaped freshwater protozoa of the genus Stentor are easily visible to the naked eye and well-known among microbe enthusiasts for their size. 2 mm might not sound impressive, but remember that this makes Stentor larger than many multicellular invertebrates. Among unicellular organisms, it is an absolute colossus. One of the factors that enables stentor to get so big is its internal anatomy. Unlike regular cells, stentors have more than one nucleus, the part of a cell that houses its DNA and acts as its control center. Having multiple nuclei seems to make it easier for bigger cells to properly manage their relatively large cellular bodies. Specifically in stentor's case, it has numerous small micronuclei that control reproduction and a single, giant, string-like macronucleus that manages its regular functions. Stenters are what biologists call a ciliate, they for covered in fine, hair-like structures called cilia. Stenters and other ciliates use these to swim, beating them in unison to propel themselves, but that isn't ft all cilia can do. While stenters gain some nutrients from symbiotic algae that often lives inside them, they are primarily filter feeders. To catch food, stenters anchor themselves to floating debris or sediment, unfold their trumpet-like mouth, and use a ring of modified feeding cilia to create a current that sucks in bacteria, smaller protists, and the occasional unlucky water flea. In other words, not only is the unicellular stenter bigger than several multicellular animals, but it sometimes eats them. Number 4. Spirostomium. With the largest species growing up to 4 mm long, members of the worm-like Spirostomum genus dwarf their stentor relatives. Found both in fresh and salt water, it is often mistaken for a small worm. When viewed under a microscope, though, it becomes clear that it is in fact a single, really long cell. Despite its length, Spirostomum is also notable in the microbial world for its incredible shrinking ability. When it is disturbed, it can shrink down to a quarter of its original size in less than a hundredth of a second. This is the fastest known contraction of any cell. Like stentor, Spirostomum is a ciliate. The cilia are arranged in a spiral formation and both propel it forward and sweep bacteria into its smog mouth H along the side of its body. Also like stentor, Spirostomum has one large macronucleus and multiple smaller micronuclei. This setup is largely unique to ciliates. They do differ from stentor in terms of prey, though. While stentors are big game hunters that can take down small multicellular life, Spirostomum mostly sticks to bacteria. Number 3. Chaos Carolinsis. Picture an amoeba. Now enlarge it to the size of a sesame seed. You have Chaos Carolinsis. While their exact dimensions change with their shape, the largest individuals can stretch to 5 mm in length. It is so big that putting a cover slip on it under a microscope can harm it. Despite its large size, c. Carolinsis behaves much the same way as a smaller amoeba would. It moves around using temporary gelatinous protrusions called pseudopods. It also uses these to feed. When it encounters prey, c. Carolinsis literally engulfs it with its pseudopods and absorbs the prey in an internal, temporary cavity called a vacuole. There, the prey is digested alive, and the remains will eventually be expelled from the cell as waste. c. Carolinsis feeds on other microbes as well as small invertebrates like water fleas or rotifers. It will continue feeding until it's ready to reproduce. Like Stender and Spirostomium, c. Carolinsis has multiple nuclei, although they are NFT organized or specialized like in the other two. A single nucleus simply would not be able to control a cell this big. In fact, depending on its size, c. Carolinsis can have up to 1000 nuclei. Chaos Carolinsis was subject to a decades-long naming controversy after its discovery, as scientists argued over how to classify it. For this reason, older sources refer to it by a variety of names, including Palomyxa Carolinsis and Chaos Chaos. To avoid confusion, 
Some writers simply introduced the protest as Gth Giant Amoeba. H. Number 2. Gromius Freca. When researchers from the University of Texas dove to the seafloor off the Bahamas, they were baffled to find dozens of odd, grape sized balls that, despite seeming motionless, had clearly left trails in the sand. Initial guesses ranged from a strange new type of snail to oddly shaped fecal matter. However, upon closer examination, the truth turned out to be even weirder. The balls were actually giant, three centimeter wide spherical protists that were rolling across the seabed at a near glacial pace. Gromius frica, or the Bahamian gromia, is what biologists call a testate amoeba. In other words, it is an amoeba-like creature that encases itself in a soft, porous shell called a test. By continuously sending out its thin pseudopods through holes in the test and grabbing onto the sea floor, the cell is able to slowly roll itself along the bottom, feeding on organic matter in the sediment as it goes. The discovery of this gentle giant of a protist had dramatic implications for scientists' f understanding of the evolutionary timeline. The earliest conclusive evidence for multicellular life dates back to 580 million years ago, but the discovery of fossilized tracks dating as far back as 1.8 billion years ago has led some scientists to push the starting date back to much earlier. Surely, they argued, no microbe could have produced them. Yet it turns out that those fossilized tracks bear a strong resemblance to those of G. Sfrica meaning that its ancestors may have produced them. Thus, the earlier starting date for multicellular life seems much less likely. Unfortunately, not much else is known about these rolling blobs of cytoplasm due to the difficulty of taking live samples. Despite having a kind of shell, they are squishy and fragile by our standards. Researchers have described them as softer than a grape. Number 1. Sailor Cyball. So far, all of the entries on this list have been animal-like protozoa, but in fact, there could be an entire list devoted to giant unicellular algae. Also known as bubble algae, sailor cyball easily grows to 4 cm in diameter or more. Found in shallow tropical waters across the world, this marble-like protist is usually solitary but is sometimes found living in small clumps. Younger individuals have a beautiful translucent green color, but older ones are often encrusted with smaller types of algae and animals. In other words, sailor cyball is so large that some multicellular life forms actually live on it. Although some admire it for its peculiar biology and exotic, gemstone-like appearance, sailor cyball is best known as a despised pest for aquarium enthusiasts. Often accidentally introduced into tanks when owners bring in live rocks taken from the ocean, the algae goes on to overrun the tank, and killing or removing it is surprisingly difficult. Popping them is no use, either, since that's actually how they reproduce. <laughs>